the GT2 timing belts will be translating the rotation of the Nemesis 17 motors into vertical movement on each tower. The synchronized movement of the three towers will hover the hot end over the build surface. This type of characteristic movement for Delta robots was invented in the early 1980s in Switzerland and is widely used in packaging, medical and pharmaceutical industry. We'll calculate the belt length by multiplying the height of the tower by 2 and then subtracting 5. In this case we're working with 1 meter towers, so we'll cut 3 segments of 195 centimeters. First thing we're gonna do after cutting the belt is pass one of the ends through the top idler pulley and fix the other end together in a closed loop with the belt clips. We'll use some super glue to keep the ends of the belt in place. The belt should now form a closed loop hanging from the top to the bottom pulley without any form of twisting. Next thing is sticking the belt to the carriage. We'll use universal glue instead of super glue. This glue will be softer and will allow us to remove the belt from the carriage without causing any damage in case we want to replace parts in the future. Apply the universal glue on both sides of the belt just a few inches above the belt clip and slide the belt into the provided belt slots in the carriage. Repeat the whole process for the three belts. Now we'll tension the timing belts. Tensioning is a key factor in 3D printers and we need to make sure we're tensioning the belts enough so that there is no play as loose belts will result in slanted prints. First pass the lowest side of the belt loop through the lower nemopolis and then loosen the M4 bolts on the top mounts to raise the top until the belts are tensioned. It can be tricky to push the top and keep the three belts in the lower pulleys. We want to have a uniform tension throughout the three belts but don't worry if one is looser than the other. We can fix this by adding belt tensioners. Designs for these can be found at Thingiverse. Now our carriages should be able to move up and down without falling. We can double check the tightness of the wheel bolts and loose them if necessary. 